I'd like a private meeting, please. Oh, all right. Are you a client? I'm looking to become a customer. I have a substantial private savings I'd like to deposit with your bank. Wonderful. Uh, how substantial? Seven figures. Seven? I see. Excellent. Yes, let's just find a nice private area then. Follow me, please. I didn't catch your name, Mr... Reaper. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Reaper? I'm in the retirement industry. Ah, then we're in a very similar business. Have these past few years been as profitable for you as they have for us? Very. Excellent. Director Savalas has taken us to a record. All it took was a creative approach to the elimination of, let's say, unwanted elements. I'm all for elimination. <laughs> Talk to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for ages. Okay. Doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. It's right down here. Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat. Perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I, uh, go on. He's armed. Dual firearm. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. This one. All right, now look at it closely. 
Take a few moments, then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes. Brutal, even. Right. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. Okay. Ah, oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, that was certainly unexpected. I think the results are pretty clear, Mr. Thomas. We don't have the perfect match for the investment banker position. However, you're just the man we need for our accounting department. I have to agree with Kevin here. We need someone a little more cutthroat for the top tier here at the bank. Someone willing to go that extra mile, to really dive into character, as it were. But on a positive note, I do believe you will fit in perfectly with the more dry-witted accountants. Mm, great point, Melissa. There's no need to turn this little setback into a complete failure. Someone with your particular set of skills would be perfect for accounting. When can I start? That's the spirit. Tomorrow morning at 8. But you know what? Have a look around the bank. You've got clearance for the ground floor, first, and second floors. Get to know the space a little. And then, we'll see you tomorrow. I can't wait. I'm sure you can see yourself out, Mr. Thomas. I'll see you tomorrow. I'd like a private meeting, please. Oh, all right. Are you a client? I'm looking to become a customer. I have a substantial private savings I'd yeah. like to deposit with your bank. Wonderful. Uh, how substantial? Seven figures. Seven? I see. Excellent. Yes, let's just find a nice private area then. Follow me, please. I didn't catch your name, Mr... Reaper. So, what do you do for a living, Mr. Reaper? I'm in the retirement industry. Ah, then we're in a very similar business. Have these past few years been as profitable for you as they have for us? Very. Excellent. The record balance has taken us to record profits. All it took was a creative approach to the elimination of, let's say, unwanted elements. I'm all for elimination. <gasps> Greetings,
talk to everyone? No, I think I saw him go into the bathrooms. He's been there for ages. Okay. Ugh, can you just get away from me? Have you never heard of personal space? I'm so glad to hear that. Okay. Doesn't sound promising. Yeah, we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Let me know when he comes out. Will do. Thanks. Oh, there you are. Feeling better, I hope. Should I let HR know you're ready for the final interview? I feel like a new man. I'm ready. Wonderful. Follow me, please. I'm ready to Mr. Thomas, have a seat, please. Ah, Mr. Thomas, good to meet you. I'm Kevin, and this is Melissa. We're both with HR, and we will be guiding you through this last test. It's important to stress that there's no pass or fail here. It's merely a standard personality test meant to gauge how you'll fit into our corporate culture. All right. If you're ready, let's kick this off, okay? I'm ready. Okay, so this is a very simple test. All you do is pick a card and tell us what you see there. Now, it's important to point out that there are no right or wrong answers here. It's just to give us a better impression of who you are on a psychological level. Does that make sense? Yes, I'm ready. All right, Mr. Thomas, uh, let's proceed then. If you will, please pick the card that most conjures up the word opportunity. I'll pick this one. Good choice. Tell me, what is the first thing you see here? Just the very first thing that comes to mind. I see a figure in a large coat, perspective skewed, as if I'm looking at him from the ground. He's got something in his hands. I, uh, go on. He's armed. Dual firearms. Large caliber pistols. I see. What else do you see? He's just finished a job. Perfectly executed. And who is this man? It's me. Very, very interesting, Mr. Thomas. Mm, very interesting observation, Mr. Thomas. <sighs> Not what we expected, but, but that's perfectly fine. Let's take the next one, shall we? Pick any of the remaining cards that make you think of execution, please. Okay. Oh, very good. This is an interesting one. What do you see here? Take in the whole image, please, and in as much detail as possible, tell me what this reminds you of. Wealth. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? I see a big pile of money earned performing questionable actions. And how do you feel about that, bending the rules of the game? It's what I do. Very good, Mr. Thomas. Well, that's a very creative interpretation, Mr. Thomas. Uh, I think we've just got time for the last card. Please proceed. Uh, this last card should hopefully make you think of prosperity. This one. All right, now look at it closely. Take a few moments. Then tell me, do you see an animal or an object? Animal. I see. What kind of animal? A bird. An eagle, perhaps. An eagle. Very interesting. A forceful animal. Anything else? It's feeding on something. Feeding? On what? A carcass. The scene is reflected in a pool of blood flowing from the body. It's a vulture feeding on someone else's kill. That's very graphic, Mr. Thomas. Yes, brutal even. Right. Well, uh, that was uh, an interesting experience, Mr. Thomas. I, uh, well, well, to be honest, maybe I expected a little more synergy between our values and your personality. But all is not lost. Am I right, Melissa? Oh, absolutely. We've got a very interesting entry-level position open in the Teller Hall, which I believe would be a perfect fit for your particular personality. Well, you won't be able to be part of the more exciting ventures on the second and third floor, I'm sure ground floor and the first will be of interest to you. Talking to people is a favorite pastime of mine. When do I start? Tomorrow at 8, Mr. Thomas. Thank you. Oh, you're free to have a quick look around to get to know the place before you come in tomorrow. You're cleared to access first floor and, of course, ground floor. 
Welcome on board. See you tomorrow at 8 sharp. Thank you. When do I start? <laughs> well, aren't you an eager beaver? Well, we expect you to come in tomorrow at 8. Welcome on board, Mr. Thomas. Check that out, would you? Okay, then. Awesome. What? Uh... Hello and welcome. Hit every quarter they ruined me. How, how could she do this? Stay here. Okay, I totally understand. Hello? He's always been an arrogant dick. I don't shut up about winning the lottery. Yeah, I can help you.
Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just hope this works. Oh. <laughs> Something's off. Uh, as soon as you can, please. supposed to let anyone from IT in there? That's right. You know how crap this old building is with the wireless and how the guy to take the cables anywhere? Plus she had a router installed in her office, but he died the lock. And the need for IT to drop by every now and then. Got it. Pass through, I gotta patch it down. Feels good, huh? Bet it does, pretty boy. Okay, you're all fine. Off you go. Ah, good. Finally. I hope you have good problem-solving skills. I'm known to be the best. <laughs> you better be. The director's a... Uh... Handful. Don't talk to her, all right? Wasn't planning on it.
even at this old day, and all we have is Mr. Man's word that something happened alongside what is at best very flimsy evidence of some sort of tampering. Crap, Athena, listen. I don't think you had a superior double Happened here. The deposit boxes were clearly accessed, and one looked through up here and downstairs. That's indisputable. That's what you do, Clem. What I'm speaking is amateurs at work. A botched attempt at sleight of hand. My guess, there's something in that cronkite file of yours that you don't want the board to see. And Fabian here came up with a very poor plan to locate it before the big review next week. Hmm. What a load of shit. Fabian, shut up. Mathieu, these are serious allegations. You understand the consequences of making them. Oh, don't bother firing me. I quit. I've done good things in the past, but I want nothing to do with this. Maybe you'll be able to cover your tracks. Maybe not. I'm certainly not going to help you. Here's my data drive. I'll resign tomorrow. Mr. Franklin, it's Director Savalas from the New York branch. I'm returning a call from Jonathan Luther. I see. Any idea as to when he might be available? I understand the board wanted to perform some sort of review here. I am at a loss as to the details, however. Very well. Then I will wait for his call. It would be of benefit to me to understand the intricacies of the visit which files to find in the archives, or even an indication of the extent of the review. It would require some time to prepare for a visit. Thank you, Mr. Franklin. I'll await his call. Good day. You! This is a restricted area! You need to follow me right now. No questions. Move it. I need to talk to Fabian about dropping those futures. Investing in the middle class is so last century.
Look at them down there, scurrying about in their miserable little lives, never accomplishing anything of importance. Sad. God. No. No. Hey, come on. Come on. Snap out of it. Sir, please behave. You're drawing attention to yourself. It's like the 1920s in here.
You shouldn't Please. be here. You sh help me. Oh. Buddy. Yeah, do it. Nothing. Standing by. We're locking this area down. Get out of here. Checking in from the executive office. All clear. That's the first backup data disk secured. Two more to locate.
anyone there? Help me! I said it! Ah, wait! God damn! 